เดินนะกดขึ้นไปก่อนอย่างนี้แหละเคเวนสุดยอดสุด So I did this run um, a few weeks ago, up to uh, the White Buddha, and um, and then somebody goes on Strava, and then somebody on the internet challenged me and said that I I can't take the King of the Mountain. So today I have to try. So I have to run a minute quicker, and this is the leaderboard. So there I am right now, eighth. I need to run one minute and five seconds faster. To be the KOM, and if this doesn't work, then this video will not be released. So, bye. So we're off. Just checking my watch has started because the last thing you want to do is do this, and then you have a problem. You've not done the full segment, or you've not started your watch. I have done that before. And then straight away it gets steep. And of course it's 8.5 percent gradient, but that's not a consistent 8. Point five percent. It's the average. So at some point, switchbacks or these steep parts, they're going above twenty-five percent, and it really takes it out of your legs. So within twenty-eight seconds, I was into zone four, so above six hundred and sixty-five beats, and then within a minute and a half, I was above one eighty. And these lesser steep parts really give your legs what it needs, and then you're going again. So you know that the gradient is going to come again. It's almost what you don't want. You don't want a dip or a false flat because you know you're going to get it at some point. And by this point, I'd only done this segment maybe three or four times. So it's always a nice surprise, but again, steep here. And then by this point, I'm thinking, you know, two or three minutes in, can I actually, can I actually do this, finish it, or do I need to go back and start again? Have I done the warm up well enough? Because I am, my heart is going through my chest. And it's so different to do stuff like this, which is why you shouldn't neglect it. I'll do a lot of stuff in zone three and zone four, a lot of longer intervals, but not as much top end stuff because of the injury risk. And so to do something like this up a hill, it's great for me. I should do it way more often. But it's funny how it's something like Strava little bit of competition that gets you to really put in the effort. But I know it finishes steep. Taking a race line, as always. And I'll always recognize these trees, which sort of are around the car, car park in here. So I know that I've not got too far to go, but I can still lose it. Checking my watch again. And at this point, then it's like finishing a race. Mentally, once you can see or you know the finish line is there, you get that extra energy because you know you can go deep and go into the red, and you could pay it back afterwards when you stood still. 
and just knowing that just around this corner there's a super steep part that's going into the car park i think it's about 20 percent and it's right at the end just before you take the right turn to probably overrun the segment so that you make sure that you actually do it and it registers on the gps short steps up that and then the trick is now not to get chased by dogs Don't mess, kids. Don't mess on the internet. Somebody's always gonna get you. So the data is here. The results are in. It's important to only be happy with first place. What should I call this title? The Eddie Coon. What should I call the title? Yeah. Hello, Nick. For the title for the game of Wingers. Please, children, don't play. Yeah, children, don't play. In the, uh, children on the internet, don't play. <laughs> okay, so good session, good day. Like 20 times 200 meters uh, on the limit, and well paced throughout, and then at an attempt up Doi. So I came up to White Buddha, was really successful. And we got the Strava title, which, me, which is not a matter of life or death. It's more important than that. So all fun and games, but that is a hard effort for me. That's an all out effort, VO2 max effort. And within 28 seconds, I'm into zone four and then top heart rate of, max heart rate of 186. But this is all you need, like a short segment like that, especially a hill where you can just revisit it as often as you want and see if, how you can improve, maybe split it up into 10 or 20 or 5, gradually get better at it, 8.5%, just over a kilometer, can have a go at that every couple of weeks, exactly the same as a park run or a 5k, um, and even more so, you know, it does take a lot, and then also, because of Strava, you can be competing with your mates and everybody else in the region. So you can be winding people up online, which is great fun. And that's exactly what Strava should be used for. But if we look at the data, heart rate, well up there. But what you can also see is how steep it is from the, ha from the stride length. This goes down to nearly oh, a meter there. So that's how, that's how steep it is. And then the run cadence is, is well up there, 200. And then what is also interesting here is always keep a check on this average ground contact time balance. I've seen this at, with some athletes, 55, 45. You don't want that. It's definitely an imbalance. When you're doing an all out effort like that, this will be as true as it gets. So it's good to see that. 